He's an awesome kid, right? We love him. He's a happy boy, which is crazy. Floppy happy, like we like to call it. Sawyer, he's got an unconditional, loving personality. He's been a real joy in our family. Even six months ago, you wouldn't have seen a smile on his face like you do today. The process of getting him there has been a long, long road. Our journey to a diagnosis was almost exactly eight years. Sawyer, before he was born, we knew that there were some problems. He wasn't growing, and so they decided to induce me early. After we had him, he stopped eating, and his bowels weren't working. He wasn't passing his meconium. About a day after we were in the hospital, they decided to put him in the NICU. And they've actually considered him failure to thrive because of his condition, and of course, no answers. We don't know anything. That was rough and we realized he wasn't hitting his milestones. Physically, he wasn't developing. He struggled to walk and he didn't walk till he was three years old. There was just something more with Sawyer. Check out me, he's ready to eat. For us, it was several years. We didn't know why he was the way he was. We couldn't just Google search, what's my son's condition? We didn't have that. It was, it was frustrating. And what was amazing is when we were invited by the Undiagnosed Disease Network to participate in a whole genome sequencing where his, mine, and my wife's samples were taken. And I was like, what? Like, that's so awesome that they've developed this new technology and they're being able to find answers for families like ours. But I thought, we've already been down this road and I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Like, this is, the that's great that they have this, but it's not going to work for us, right? We got the phone call. We want to talk to you. And he said, well, do you want to know what it is? And I'm like, hmm, yeah, I do. <laughs> I've only waited eight years. Sure, of course I want to know my answers. And so they found a mutation in Sawyer's TRIP12 gene. And I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Although it's rare and it is something that other kids also have, it is a real condition that can explain why he's the way he is. I was so excited because I could finally move forward and I could find my network of people. We have the technology that allows us to connect and ultimately it, it improves the quality of life that my son is able to have. Don't give up. I know what it's like to not have answers. So I'm constantly on the lookout for people that haven't received answers. And if it can help other people, man, that's awesome. That's what makes it worthwhile to improve his life and to help other people to, to have answers.